Hi, Crafters. Welcome to the DM Crafters. Hey, Gracie. Thanks for that introduction. Isn't she adorable? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make the uh, cliff uh, face pieces I used in my encounter. Um, so let's go to the table and I'll show you how to do that. Hey guys, to start today's project we're going to use these aquarium plants and I really like the length on these. Okay, so I'll just uh, remove them from the package and they're attached to this base but that just pops off easily so they're all uh, ready to go. Just pop all those off. Uh, now to uh, give some weight to the end of these plants I'm going to use uh, these washers and uh, I'll just get this out of the box and I'm going to attach these to the pad with my hot glue gun. That way I can do the texture on these without them moving around. So that's an easy way to do that. There we go. And uh, fill all those in. And now I'll start attaching the plants to the uh, washers. Okay. And uh, easy to do, just uh, use a hot glue. Now I didn't paint the washers first because um, the plants. I didn't want to get black spray paint on the on the plants, so I'm just going to hand paint them, okay? And they'll they'll take uh, paint well, well enough without having to spray them, okay? So there we go, nice and attached and ready for the uh, painting to be on the cliff. All right, so to start that, I'm just going to use a black, and I'll just fill in all those, holding up the plant so I don't get the black on the plant. I'm just going to fill all those in with black. And uh, that'll be a ni the nice base for my uh, other colors. Okay, I'll let that dry up. Uh, now I uh, painted the gray on it just like you would with any other stones, but I found that the one washer wasn't quite heavy enough. So I'm going to use another washer, and I painted the back side of that black, but I'm going to uh, put the washers together with goop, and that'll uh, give a nice secure bond to those. Now there we go, it's all painted, and you can see there's kind of a... It's, it's wider now, so it's, it, it looks you know, like a round disc. So I'm going to put some hot glue around the edge uh, and that will cover that up, make it more, look more like stone, and then I'll just paint that up when it uh, dries up. So now I need to do the outcroppings and ledges. So I'm going to, I have a stack of uh, just regular cardboard I'm going to use. And I'll just start grabbing some. And I've got some uh, heavy duty scissors here. And I'm just going to cut these out. I'm not even going to use the uh, box cutter on this. So I'm just the goal of this is to get like kind of a rounded bottom with a flattish top so that I can use those for ledges uh, on my uh, vertical climb, my simulated vertical climb. So I'll just cut all those out and I can start arranging them, seeing, you know, you can play with it while you're cutting them out, see uh, what kind of uh, groupings you can do together with this cardboard to make them just not just one piece, but just a little more interesting, give them a little more dimension. And uh, there we go. So I'll finish all those up. And uh, it's pretty quick work with the scissors. And uh, there we go. So now I've got them uh, generally laid out how I want them. So it'll be easy to glue uh, with the short duration of the hot glue. So I'll just start sticking those together. I'm also going to add some texture uh, by pulling the hot glue uh, gun down on the piece. And that will give a little bit of rock texture. Okay. So it won't just, be, it won't just look like flat cardboard. And you can go as crazy with that as you want. You can just do a little like I did, or you can actually cover the whole piece, uh, which would use a lot of hot glue, but it would give a nice texture. The, the paint will fill in the texture, so we really don't have to worry too much about how much hot glue we put on there. So, yeah, just pulling in from the top, doing some stuff in the center, and uh, doing where the, uh, I like to do where the two edges meet. So now uh, we want to paint those uh, rock uh, ledges. So I've got my um, burnt uh, sienna. I'm just dabbling that on. You can see they're just spray painted flat black. And now I'm going to use my gray. And what I want to do is I want to get a stone texture on there. So I'm going to use a natural sponge and just start uh, dabbing it all over the piece. And look how that transforms from just that flat cardboard to uh, looking like a nice uh, stone ledge that really looks good there. So you can really see that, uh, that detail. 
Uh, now I want to add a little bit of a lighter color. This is a pebble. And this is kind of just a variation. It's kind of a combination of a gray and a tan. And I'll just start highlighting that. And look how that uh, hot glue really pops out. It really looks good um, on there. It uh, brings out those uh, edges and details. And uh, that uh, highlighting step can be very important. So now I'm going to add a little more of a lighter gray. And uh, I'm going to use a sponge on that. And just put a little bit um, randomly on there. Uh, it gives it even more uh, depth to the piece. So there we go. We're looking good. So here all my pieces are dried. And I want to do one last technique. I'm going to turn these over and hot glue on the back. And I'm not doing this for um, aesthetic reasons. I'm doing it for technical reasons because the hot glue is kind of rubbery and uh, it'll keep the pieces from sliding on the mat. So here, watch this. I can, when you try to push it, it's really hard to push and that'll be really good in game. So there we go. Hey crafters, I hope you enjoyed the vid. Uh, make sure to give your old Scotty a like if you did. Also, uh, make sure to watch the video that shows how to run this uh, uh, cliff face encounter and the other video I did how to do the vinyl mat. So make sure you check this out. And uh, my niece has one last thing to say to you. So take it away, Gracie. Go forth and craft.